YouTube, what is up guys? So today is a little more serious video. I wanted to just let you guys know how I'm trying to do my part to help the, with this COVID-19 pandemic and also a way that you guys could help, uh, just help us as a country get through this. So I have been doing a lot of different 3D printed videos on my channel throughout the years. And uh, if you're new to my channel, I do tech reviews, uh, all sorts of crazy unboxings and stuff. But one thing I get sent a lot are 3D printers. So I have, as of right now, four 3D printers. Three of them are working. I'll show you guys them in a minute. But I have them all printing these face shield frames. So these are the, the, the frame that'll go on a face shield like this. So at hospitals and doctor's offices, um, when, they, when they go in the rooms, They'll have a mask under that, but that's to protect like if they cough or, or anything splatters so it doesn't hit their face. Um, now, these are something that they, they only use them one time and they throw them away. So all over the USA, hospitals, doctors, offices, nursing homes, they all need these things. There is a huge shortage of these. So I can print about 40-ish a day. If I get one more printer up and running that's broken, I will be able to do about 50 a day. And uh, it's really cool because my buddy John designed this STL file where I can print 12 of them stacked on each other at a time. So, um, yeah, I should be on Thingiverse, but if not, I'll put an email address where you guys can email me and I can send it to you. Um, so just through that and also through some donations, I've been able to just keep, keep everything going, keep everything just pumping out uh, as much as physically possible. Now, this is something that is... If you have a 3D printer, this is very easy to print. Uh, it doesn't cost very much money. I can probably print about 30 of these, maybe 35 on one roll of PLA filament. Um, so yeah, other than the PLA filament, the rest is pretty much, you know, it's just it just takes a little time. Now the clear part I'm using here, this is just a binding cover. These are PVC, crystal PVC sheet binding covers. You can get them like Office Depot, Office, Office Max. My buddy John actually donated these to me to help assemble these. And John's actually the guy that runs the Northern Illinois 3D Printed Face Shields Facebook group. If you're in my area, please join the Facebook group and you can see all the different places we're donating these to. Um, and it's just a really cool community of people. So as of right now, I'm waiting on some supplies. I'm waiting for the, the nylon straps and I'm waiting for a three hole punch. So it's just easier to punch all these because they're exactly the distance apart where my three, a three hole punch will be. So. Uh, that should be coming in the mail any day here. So right now I'm just printing frames and I'm just going to donate them to John's group and he's going to assemble them. Uh, and then the future ones I get, once I get all the other supplies, I'll start putting them together too and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is just a very easy way. So if you don't have a 3D printer, now is actually a good time to pick one up. Um, right, there, a lot of them are on sale too now because people aren't buying stuff. I know a lot of you don't have as much money and stuff, so maybe that's not an option. Um, but yeah, if you do, I'll put some links on some affordable ones that are more than good enough to print stuff like this. Uh, it's a great hobby to begin with, but when it comes to things like this where you can give back to your community, they really, really, really come in handy. I'm also going to be setting up uh, just an email account where if you want to give me a dollar donation or whatever to uh, purchase more supplies to keep making these, you can go ahead. Or if you just want to message me on questions about it, how to print them, or if you want some of the sample files I'm printing, I'll send you the file so you can print them on yours. The email I'm setting up is dylansfaceshields at yahoo.com. Yeah, so if you wanna make a donation to there, I'll, I can send you, like send me an email, we can figure it out, I'll send you my PayPal or whatever. Or if you just want some information on how to print these or if you want a copy of the file that I'm using, whatever, just, I'm, I, I'll talk to you guys, I, I, I you know, don't, don't be shy ask questions, uh, we're all here to help each other. So this is just my little part, but I'm only one person, I only do so much. So that's why I'm kind of making this video to just let you guys know that it's not that hard to help. There's a lot of different ways that you can help with this. Um, let me take you into my little room with all my 3D printers and I'll show you what I got going on there. Okay, now don't be alarmed, it is, uh, this room is extremely messy. It's kind of just been crazy right now. So on this printer, I got a stack going, just started, as well as on that printer. This printer is broken, so I'm gonna be trying to, the rest of today, I'm gonna to try to fix this printer. If I can get this running, I should be able to do about 50, 50 a day. And over here, I got this one going strong. It also just started a stack. So, yeah, I mean, I have three printers up and running. Hopefully I can have a fourth running here soon. But I'm just one person, like I can only do so much. So, 
Here is really where I need you guys. I need you guys to, everybody that has a printer, if you just print one or two even, it'll really help. Most hospitals, if you just bring these or call them or send them an email saying I want to donate, they're going to be more than happy. But if you just, if you can't find somewhere local that is taking them and you want to help, go to that Facebook group. I'll put a link down below and you can either send them to John or find somewhere, he could find somewhere that you could drop them off or whatever. But big shout out to John. Also big shout out to Leanne and Mike Gifford. They made a pretty large donation uh, for me to just keep buying supplies um, because like honestly, it probably cost me about 20 bucks a day running my printers like this, if not more. When you fact, with electricity, it's definitely more, but just in materials, it's like 20 bucks a day. So they made a donation and with that, I am extremely, extremely thankful for. Uh, if you want to donate too, just shoot me an email. We can work something out. Otherwise, just get, get a printer or, or if you already have a printer, load it up, start printing these things and, uh, you know, find out other ways too. You can help, um, maybe some places need handmade face masks. I, I really don't know what they're accepting besides these shields. These shields are pretty much accepted everywhere. That's why I'm going ahead printing these and they're very, very easy to print and I can do them fast. But this is just all the frames that I have right now. I got more printing. So this is about 40 ish and I already made a donation of about. I don't know, 35, 40, and I got, you know, I'm going to have, by the end of the day, I should have like another 30 or 40. So I'm going to keep pumping these out. And uh, I just want you guys to all be safe. And please just try to try to find a way that you can help too. Because right now we all need to come together and it's going to take our whole nation to get through this. So best of luck, everybody. I hope you're all being safe. And just something as simple as this, you could save somebody's life. So thanks for watching.